port, which is the source. My IP address here is the source. And then for destination, we have the OSPF route range on port, the first port in the lag. Now, in order for IX Network to um, count the packets, if you, if you know how LACP works, I'm going to send traffic into the DUT from this port destined for these 100 destinations. But the DUT may send those 100 destinations out of uh, any of the three uh, LACP ports. So it could go out of the first LACP port, the second LACP port, the third LACP port. It could be a, a load sharing where it's a third is going on each port. So in order for um, IX network to properly count that traffic being received on other ports, I need to actually do something in IX network uh, before I actually run the traffic wizard. What I need to do is, is configure static IP addresses on the other two uh, lag ports so that um, I can properly uh, select them in the wizard and then count them in the statistics. So I'm going to cancel out of the wizard, come back to routing switching, go down to static, and I'm going to add a range to both the second and third port of the lag. I have to enable it. I don't need to assign a protocol interface. Besides, those ports don't have any protocol interfaces. I just need to configure the same IP range as I have for my uh, OSPF routes. And I'll do 100. So I'm basically saying that I'm going to configure the same uh, destination 100 addresses on each of the, the the other two lag ports that are not running the OSPF and do and do not have the destinations uh, of this 123.1.1.0 destinations. So now when I go back to traffic, back into the wizard, I'm actually going to select the same source, my one source, but I want to select not only my route range on port 1, but the two static IP endpoints I've configured on ports 2 and 3. So you can see it's the same exact range. This will make, um, along with the merge destination feature over here, this will make my statistics uh, very accurate in, in reading uh, LACP traffic. So I've done that. I add that over there. Just going unidirectionally. You can see I've only got one endpoint, but in reality it's it's merged uh, over the three. Um, let's just leave all my other parameters the same. Well, 64 4 byte frames, 10% load. Uh, let's track on destination IP. And by doing that, along with the merge destination, uh, you're going to see how the statistics come out. We'll just hit finish. OK. Apply that traffic. And start. And then we'll switch over. And let's just look at uh, one statistic here. OSPF is still up. And it looks like the DUT is forwarding all of those frames um, on that traffic item. Now, this particular view is just giving you an overall health of the entire traffic item. Basically, all the frames are being transmitted and all the frames are being received. But now we want to know are all the, uh, you know, show me the per flow stats or the per destination stats. So if I drill down per my tracked item of destination, and I'll close off the other view because my for real estate space, I can see that IX Network has actually merged all of the traffic across all of those three ports, and I see um, I see very accurate per flow statistics regardless of which RX port I receive them on because I don't right now I don't know how the DUT is forwarding those packets across the lag. One way I can find that out is unclick that and click on data plane port statistics. 
So in data plane port statistics, I can see that my transmit rate is 148,000 packets per second. And the DUT is not exactly equally sending that traffic across um, the port. So 58% uh, 58, uh, 58,000 there, 55,000 there, 35,000 there. Actually, what might make it a little easier, and I can do this on the fly, just to change the rate to something like, uh, we can do 100,000 packets per second. And now when I go to statistics, I can see that 39% of my traffic is going across the first lag port, 37% the second port and 24%. So it's not equally uh, dividing the traffic. But that's